time for another video already? Can a guy get a break? I guess not. Hey, I'm Elric. Welcome back to TOT. We bring you all the tech all the time. And today we've got something that I think is really badass from the people over at Corsair. Thanks to my buddy Rick Allen, my fellow rocker, for sending the sample. And this thing is their new RM650 power supply. Now, this thing's completely modular, has flat black cables, totally gold certified, and also has Corsair's link in it as well, which means it'll link with the rest of the stuff in the systems. You control the fans and all that stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So with that said, let's actually jump in, take a look at the box, what it all has to do with it, and then just check out the power supply itself and see what it has to offer. So here it is, the Corsair RM650. Now, a lot of the details are right here on the front. You can see it has the Corsair link ready, five-year warranty, low noise, zero RPM fan mode. That means that when the thing's running really cool, it'll just slow down and be quiet. 80 plus gold, really good certification. You can get one higher, the platinum, but this is pretty damn good. Things optimized for silence, fully modular. Let's flip to the side real quick and take a close up and let's talk about all of the cables. Now, here is A, it's a single ATX 24 pin, 20 plus four. Number B is the EPS eight pin, four plus four. Then we get C, which is four PCIe eight pin, six plus two. Next up is D, there are eight D, those are your SATAs. Then next up is E, your peripherals four pin, there are seven of those. You get two floppy adapters, and then finally, G, your Corsair link. That's all of your connectors. We're actually gonna take a look at those in a second, but let's flip the box around. You guys can see the back. The only really thing they're talking about right here is their efficiency and the system load with the fan, which is what I was talking about. When the system is running cool, the thing will slow down and almost have zero fan speed, making it entirely quiet. So now let's go ahead and let's open the box up. Pop the cap over here on the side. I hate when they act like that. Want to be all mean with me? Get my little fingers in there. All right. Then we got the box section. Box within a box, within a box, within a box, within a box, within a box. All right. So here we go. Let's flip it around real quick. You guys can see right there it's skew number. Flip it around again. Let's go ahead and just open the box up. Got a little cap here. Probably one of those little end cap jubbers. Whew. Wow. You open the box up and there's like instantly a wafting smell of like silicone that comes out of it. Talk about the new car smell. Oh boy. Let's see here. What's going on over here? Oh, well, I guess we actually have to uh, rip the sticker to get the thing off. All right. So kaboom, kaboom. Right off the bat, we get the solutions guide of 2012. Um, aren't we in 2013? Just saying. Here's the warranty guide from Corsair. All that stuff in there. Little book here if you want to read through that. Zip ties for cable management and also a little case badge powered by Corsair for those folks who like to show off what they have inside their system. Next up, the power cable. You guys all know what that is. Next up, the silicone. Very important. Make sure you do not eat this stuff. Nope, it's not jelly and you can't even add sugar and taste it. So it's just a waste. Desiccant. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Out of the way. All right. So next up, the cables. Holy crap, oh, there's a lot of cables. Let's get those out of the way and we'll come back to the cables. Let's pop out and let's actually take a look at the unit before we go to the cables. Now, this thing's actually pretty light. Damn, surprisingly light. I gotta tell you folks, this thing is surprisingly light. RM650, high pod is okay. I'm not even touching that. You take what you want with that one. Here's the back. Got our nice on and off switch. Got our little plug. You guys can see inside of there, some of the copper braiding and stuff, making up some of the internal parts. They've clearly got the name right here again, the RM650. Flip it down the bottom. Here's the fan. Looks nice and pretty. And in fact, these guys just sent me an email announcing that they have a whole new fan line, which I'll be bringing to you guys very shortly. These guys are now making fans. That's right. So here's the backside. Here is the link. Here go your peripherals, video cards, power. So all in all, a pretty decent, nice looking little unit right there. We'll get that out of the way. And now we'll take a close up look at the cables themselves. So let me go ahead and 
open this bag up, rip that bag up, and now let's pour these bad boys out. Now earlier, we already went over the quantity and everything, so now let's just show these cables to you. All breaking out. Very nice, flat black. I like these, some people don't. I think they're very, very easy to build systems with. Other people say they're a pain in the ass. I guess it's just a matter of opinion and who's doing the build. Um, Anthony, our builder, he could go for them or not go for them. With him, he's kind of down the road. He likes doing a lot of custom cabling systems. And actually, uh, you guys have been saying lately that he's gotten really good at cable management, and uh, he really appreciates that because uh, he took a lot of time to try to get really good at that. For years, we just built systems and nobody cared. And then all of a sudden, cable management became a big thing, and uh, Anthony met the challenge. And we're really glad, and I see you guys are as well. So I'm just kind of filling time here as I'm sticking these things in here. But you guys can see them all. I'm just setting them all out here just one at a time. Don't need that. We already did that. So that's pretty much all the cables, folks. I gave you guys the amount. You guys just want to see what they look like. They're all very, very flat, very thin. So when you're putting them in the back of the case, they'll sit flat in there so you can put your case on. If you don't have a lot of room behind your case and you still want to do cable management, these can be an important tool. So you get all these cables, power, zip ties, manual, thing and the unit itself all right folks so there you have it the corsair rm650 fully modular power supply at 650 watts this thing will power two cards and sli or crossfire it's plenty that you need unless you're trying to go hardcore and have four cards which hardly anybody does so for the average user out there this is going to be a very solid power supply its ability to totally power down and run quiet is really cool the corsair link is really good if you use a lot of their products together and just overall i think that the cable management and this is going to be very well so we install into a system i don't think we're going to have any problems at all due to those flat cables if anybody out there wants any more information or you'd like to purchase this down below the like button in the description we'll have all the information and links to where you guys can check out this power supply so i'm elric we'll see you back here on tech of tomorrow for more tech goodness and if you're not subscribed hey you know what to do otherwise you'll miss out